What to do in case you're injured in a car accident. A few weeks ago, my son and myself, we went to a baseball game in Anaheim. And we had a great time at the game. And we exited the parking lot. We're in downtown. We're kind of trying to figure our way home. We had a stoplight. We stopped and we got smacked from our rear end. And fortunately, it was not a high collision impact. It got out right away. And I was checking to see if there's any damage. It's ready. Hey, you want to come over here? Yeah. It was scary, actually. Like this. Like this. What we have here is what to do in case of a car accident. Because it's kind of scary. You get hit from behind or in the front. And you're kind of fidgety. You don't even remember how to work your own phone anymore. I had somebody come in last week that was just in a car accident. He was trying to take pictures. He couldn't even figure out how to work his phone. I was writing down the other car's license plate and my S's kept looking like fives and my B's kept on looking like eights. So the information and ask for this at our office on your next appointment, there's a little map here where you can draw the cars that were involved in the collision. And there's a checklist such as obviously pull over, stop, make sure nobody's injured, call the police, give the facts to the police, and call an ambulance if necessary. Take pictures if you can, take notes, and of course there's a blank to uh, fill out here of the involved drivers and their insurance information and license plate and all that stuff. So it's a wonderful resource, it's a great checklist to keep in your glove box. Anything you want to say? Our car almost just cracked, but it didn't. Alright. Bye! Bye.